This AI agent that I have on my phone right here has just made a contractor's life 10 times easier. Let me explain. Most contractors are wasting hours every single week on administrative work they shouldn't be doing. This AI agent removes all that. Instead of typing anything, the technician just calls the AI and says, reorder for John Smith, reorder this part, deliver next Tuesday and increase X measurements. And the AI handles everything. It pulls up customer details, it writes the report, it sends the emails and it also notifies the office and updates the CRM. In this video, I'm gonna show you a live demo. And second, I'm gonna show you a behind the scenes of how this actually works. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name's Liam. I've helped businesses all over the world use AI to save tens and tens of thousands a year. If you'd like to do the same for your business, you can just use the first link down below to book a free AI consultation call. The spots are, as always, limited to only three people per video, so I hope to see you in there, and now let's dive into the live demo. So the way the system works is when a technician has finished a job and the job is incomplete, which means that they might need to reorder parts or they mismeasured something, they usually take photos. Now those photos, they can upload, upload into monday.com. And as you can see, we have a column here called report photos. Now I'm just gonna upload some random photos into here, you know, like this. And as soon as those photos get update uploaded, this system over here will trigger. Now what the system over here does, and you will see that it starts running, is it's now searching for the customer's details. So I've added this to the customer, Anthony Titchens, and he actually also has contracts of um, basically everything that was in um, that was supposed to be completed is in a contract. Now we need to reformat that contract because the contract is actually quite messy. So the first thing that happened, you might have heard the notification, is that we got a text message from the AI saying, hey, I'm just generating the line item overview for Anthony Titchens, ID um, three dash something, right? You can see that it sent a text message here. And it sends that because then the technician knows, okay, something's being processed in the background. Uh, I know that everything's been received. Now at the moment, um, the AI is reformatting that original contract so that it's easy to read. And in just a second, we're gonna get a second text message here. It's just generating a Google document currently, you can see, and now it's sending the text message right here. Should have got another text right there with a link to a Google document, which we can open and right there, you can see a Google document has opened. Now this is a nice clean overview of all of the line items that were um, for this customer. Now I can not I can show you like this, but I can't show you a screen recording because that would leak some data I'm not allowed to share. But basically now the technician goes, great, I have an overview of everything that was supposed to be completed. Let me tell the AI exactly what changed. So now the next step is to actually call the AI agent. And to do that, they can just call a number and you'll, you'll see what happens. Right now, it's actually in the background processing and finding my name so it knows who's calling. Hi there, thanks for calling MTS Installations. How can I help you today? Uh, hey, I want to leave a report for 3-780. All right, just to double check, was that 3-780? Yes. Did I get that right? Great, thanks for confirming. Um, details, please? What would you like to update or add to the report for 3-780? Yeah, okay, we're going to change line item um, 3. It's actually, um, the measurements were wrong. It's 23 by 42 and 3 quarter inches. And then line item, um, I don't know, let's go with line item 13. It's actually not in the office, but it's in the master bedroom. And it's actually also an outside mount. Sure. Yep, go ahead. All right, so for report 3-780, you want to update line item 3. The measurements should be 23 by 42 and 3 quarter inches. For line item 13, it should be listed as office, but it's actually in the master bedroom, and it's also an outside lounge. Is there anything you want to add? Oh, not lounge. It's called an outside mount. It will change it from an inside mount to an outside mount. Got it. Thanks for clarifying. So, just to make sure I have this right, for line item 13, it's office located in the master bedroom, and we're changing it from an inside mount to an outside mount. No mention of lounge anymore. Is there anything you want to add? Uh, that's perfect. Thank you. All right, I'll go ahead and generate the report with those updates now. Is it okay for me to continue? Uh, yes, please. 
Perfect. Just hang tight for a second. Our AI systems are generating your report right now. It'll just take a moment. Quickly put them on mute while it's generating. So it listened to what I said. It identified the right customer based on the ID. And now it's actually generating a report, adding all the photos. And um, one sec. All right, your report's been generated and sent off. Thanks a lot for giving me all those details. It really helps. Is there anything else you need while I've got no, you? That, that's good. Thank you very much. There we go. So um, it goes full circle and actually generates the report as well, adding all the photos. And uh, now if we go back into Monday, you can see that we have a tech report here. We can click on that and it actually gets sent to the right people as well. And um, first of all, it adds the customer name. In this case, this was me. The date is missing because I haven't, this is just a test customer. I haven't filled out all the dates here. Uh, then, where is it? Here, yeah, uh, correct. Job type, technical measure, summary of what gets changed, line items requiring attention. It tells us basically what the line item is that we're changing, what the issue was, previous specs and action needed, which were for these two. And as you can see, um, location and mount type were incorrect, location, office, um, and so on, right? Update mount type to outside mount, exactly what I said. And then it also lists the completed line items so that the customer and the supplier in this case know what's being completed. And it also adds all the photos um, to the end here. And don't ask me why I have these photos. <laughs> They're for some th thumbnail concepts. So I hope the, the company doesn't mind a weird report. Cool, okay, so as you can see, it does quite a lot. And now let me show you how this actually works on the back end. So the way this works, we have a few different workflows. As you saw before, we have a workflow which detects if a photo is added to the report photos column. Now it detects any changes in here. And we first of all have to add a filter right at the beginning. Over here, we add a filter of were there any previous files? Because if you upload one photo and then a second and the third one, we don't want it to generate and send texts every single time. So it only triggers if there were no previous photos in there. Uh, next, what it does is um, if, uh, if the documents exist, because in some cases the customer doesn't actually have a contract because it went missing or it wasn't, um, it wasn't ready yet, for example, if the documents don't exist, then the, the technician gets a text saying, um, this customer doesn't have any documents, but please just give me a summary. And then the AI will summarize. If they do exist, we uh, first of all send a text message to the technician. That was the first one I showed you. And that's just to tell him everything's okay. It's being processed. It can take a few seconds. Uh, please be patient. Because, you know, especially for technicians, they might have a harder time adopting this because well, not just technicians, it's, it's a lot of people, right? So they might have a harder time adopting this especially when they're very busy and they're on the road. Uh, so it's good for them to have some reassurance. I'm going to skip this part because it won't make sense yet. But next, we basically download the contract from Monday, put it into a vector store in OpenAI. Uh, we add those files. Actually, no, first we need to upload the file to OpenAI. Then we add it to a vector store for however many files we have. And then we have an assistant attached to that vector store, which we tell, please summarize and reformat this contract. Why are we doing all of this? Because the contracts sometimes are extremely messy. Uh, this company gets the contracts from other suppliers and they're just all over the place. So <clears throat> this AI helps uh, condense that into a nicer overview. And the next once that's done, we remove those files again from the vector store. And what this does, does at the beginning is it checks if there are any files in here, because if there are, it means that two people tried to use the system at the same time, which in this case, it just basically delays the scenario by eight seconds, which give this, gives this enough time to, to finish with the first one. Next, it uploads the regenerated contract into a temporary storage in Monday, creates a Google document, adds that to the right folders in Google Drive, changes the permissions, updates the customer in Monday, and then sends a, a message to my phone here with a link to this Google document so that I then have the overview. All right, it's, it's funny because in production, there are so many small things like changing the permissions or what if two people use it at the same time that you wouldn't think of in a normal build. Excellent. So now we have um, a reformatted report on our phone. And next to this report, I wish I could show you, but it would leak some data. I can't. But next to the text message, um, 
I'm not sure if you can see, but it's probably better if you can't. It says this is a report for 3-780, um, which means that the technician knows instantly which ID to tell the AI in a moment. Now, next step, next workflow, when the technician makes a call, it gets accepted by this workflow here. And first of all, there's just a bunch of reformatting. We check if this is a technician, if it's a customer, do they exist, don't they exist? Which welcome message do we give them? Because in retail AI over here, as you can see, this is also quite a big, um, quite a big AI agent. We tell the AI, as soon as the call starts, please send, tell them this welcome message. And the welcome message gets generated depending on if it's a customer, depending on the order status, depending on if it's a technician or not. Great. Uh, so then we call the AI and the AI has, as you can see, a lot more features than just the reports. I'm going to cover those in a, an upcoming video. But for the reports, what we've done is we've added global nodes. And this basically tells the AI, you can jump here if the caller says incomplete report, which means that the AI knows now, let's go down this workflow. First of all, it asks for the ID, repeats the ID back, and then once it thinks it's understood the ID correctly, it can move on to the next phase. Then it collects the details, summarizes them, double checks if it's allowed to send the report, and then it uses this tool to send the summary of what needs to be changed into this make.com workflow. And based on the ID that was said, we search Monday for the right customer. So now we know which customer to match it to. Then depending on if that customer has uh, existing contracts or not existing contracts, it either generates just a summary or a, um, a, a, a complete report like I showed you before with all the details. Then it puts that into a Google document, changes the permissions in Google Drive, adds it to the right folder, updates some more information in monday.com. And then all of this over here, by the way, is just to add the photos. Like it's uh, funny how much um, effort a simple thing takes sometimes. Uh, if there are no photos available, it just stops it right there. And if there are photos available, it keeps going here. And usually it also sends it to the right people. But I, I've disabled this for the demo so that uh, we don't accidentally send this to, to live suppliers and customers. That was a mouthful and uh, quite a lot to comprehend. So um, yeah, a very interesting project. There was a lot more in this project than just this. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into the next video, which, one second, as you can see, it takes a while to load. Uh, this is a monster of a workflow and this covers a lot more things than just reports. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say is if you are a home service business and you think that this sounds interesting, I hope that after hearing something like this and seeing it in action, uh, you now have one more use case for AI in your business. And if you would like to work with me to set something like this up for your company, you can just use the first link down below to book a free AI consultation call. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video.